Hi, it's Sarah here from thebusysuperhuman.com and in this series of videos I'm going to talk to you a bit about growth hormone and other peptides that are related to growth hormone. So first of all, just a brief introduction to myself. I've got a degree in biochemistry and genetics and I've also got a PhD in molecular mechanisms and structural biology. So I'm not the kind of woman that thinks uh, the periodic table is something that we sit at once a month. So I'll hopefully be able to give you some facts, some hard science facts as well, and also personal experience with all the compounds that I tell you about during these videos. So first of all, with growth hormone, IGF and the peptide, it's a really complicated topic which can't really be covered um, just in one video for people who are new to it because it can get quite confusing. Growth hormone isn't just something that bodybuilders use, it's useful for uh, um, anti-aging purposes, people use it for with children who have growth problems and stuff like that. However, uh, there are certain side effects and things to be aware of when using or experimenting with these kind of supplements. So during the next couple of videos we're going to be talking about growth hormone and how it functions and works in the body naturally. IGF, which is really important in the whole cycle, some peptides such as ipamorelin, hexarelin, GHRP6, GHRP2, and um, also things like samorelin, modGRF, and modGRF with DAC. There's also another compound which is quite interesting. It's an oral growth hormone secretor god called MK677. So. Look, look out for these videos coming in the next couple of weeks, which will give you details of how to use them, do's and don'ts, side effects, or for people who are just interested in uh, exploring some biochemistry. Anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye.